Hello again, everybody. Sebastian Gaines here with another Watch or Runs video. In this one, we are going to be talking about the creativity design gameplay contest going on right now. The community managers reached out to the content creators and said, can you come up with anything? And I said, why not? I'll give it a stab. And I went into my laboratory and tried to come up with something that would probably, you know, I think the players would enjoy doing when it comes to this tower defense game. A couple of things that influence me that is already in the game. So we can kind of draw things from what has already been established in the game. So it's trying to, you know, just call recreate the, the, the wheel. Because it is, I mean, it's a game design, so it's, it's really difficult to come up with. But I, I kind of already had in mind that Watch Our Realms already has designs like this, where we have to beat one stage in order to then advance to another. Something like this crusade here when we had the demon... Uh, the demonic crusade uh, going on so we had to beat one to go to two and so on and so on and so on not only that but we also had that spiral right so we had to then climb up the stages and the better we did the more rewards that we got and of course there were conditions within one of the stages for us to meet so i started to think all right we have already also had limited time bosses where you know you get boons and you select and you get your power ups and you go on. So one of the things is I started to think, okay, let's combine everything already that has been included into game into a nice feature that maybe you can do this monthly. And so the way that I was thinking about this, because this is something that I enjoy, especially when uh, you are kind of limited on what you can use or there are restrictions or you get power-ups, or, uh, or in, the, in the reverse, you get limitations. So in this example, I'm just picking this as the stage. So let's say we come up to this crusade tower, or uh, there is we, we build something like a tower, you know, like the, 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 um, the spiral tower that we had, and we have to click on level one. So we get here, and then we, get, we see what we usually see with any stage in the game, right? We get a map, we get the enemies, we can get an idea of how things are laid out. We see platforms, we see ground tiles, so we start thinking, okay, this is probably the roster that I want to make bring in, because my enemies either have high magic resistance or they have very low magic resistance, and you can kind of start thinking about... If these are all going to be, there's some type of way coming, do I need AOE damage, single target damage, etc., etc., etc. And then, of course, you then get your BP level. You know, what's the threshold, quote unquote, that you need to meet? But then what I was thinking is, okay, what if right at the start, right at the start, you get these boons, right? And then you click on one of them, and all of a sudden comes this, comes something like this, right? So then you have piercers or only marksmen or something like that so i'm just going to leave the last one as a blank but you get restrictions right so let's say i click on one of the two and i got oh man okay i cannot use piercers i'm locked out okay so now i have to build rosters that do not include piercers or i click on the second one and up oh, locked out i cannot use marksmen so already there one limitation restriction we, we now uh, have to, the third one, you know, if if I click on the third one, it could have been, you cannot use Nightmare Heroes, or you can't use Chaotic Heroes, you can't use Defenders. That would be the fun part of it, right? Because what if you do need Defenders? Can you beat the stage without the Defenders? Okay, so now you got your first restriction. But then at the same time, I was thinking, okay, what if then, what if now we get boons, right? So now here, allies, that's us, what is the condition that I want to have my outlets benefit from? So this is not just all random. You can think about any type of benefit that you want into it. So here I put it in the illustration here and this last one here, like 15% HP, 20% defense. We gain a little bit more, right? So let's say we did get defenders. We cannot use defenders. Well, we might need to tank up some fighters. Let's use that benefit right there, right? Or we can use something like enemies take 30% more uh, damage from burns. Let's do that. Or uh, mages get a 30% extra attack. Now we select one based on the roster of pick, and now we go on, right? And then this can be randomized. And if, if there is a way 
to code it into the game, as you beat stages, maybe you can pick up like mulligans where you can come in and do like one refresh. You get one refresh and you reset all this. There's possibilities here to toy around with it. Now, consequently then though, the enemies also get some type of buff or some type of restriction to them. So here I just put, this is again, all wild ideas. So let's say one of the boons is the, the, their resistance to burn. They just cannot be damaged by burn. And if you already picked, well, I want the extra damage by burn, you're definitely not going to go pick that one. So now you're going to have to pick one of the other two, etc., etc. So here, uh, it's an example again. I just said, okay, enemies gain 50% attack, but they have 20% less HP, or they gain magic resistance for this matter. So then in your roster, you start to, okay, do I really want them having more magic resistance based on the roster they have? All right, so then after all of this is completed, you selected the conditions of the bottle, you go in, right? So let's say this is level one, so things are probably not going to be as tough. But then as you start climbing up or moving on to the stages, you would expect then the difficulty to increase. So one of all, all those conditions are met, then my idea would be if your challenge is successful, you move on to the next one, right? All right, so let's say then you start climbing up, two, three, four, and with all the conditions that you have, all the boons, right? You start now, you start getting tougher, and the boons, maybe there's a little bit more variability of it, like uh, there is more defense on, on, on the enemies, and yours are not as powerful as the enemies. All of that can just change. But then let's say you get to level 20, and... Of course, with each level it increases. But then, as you start getting into levels, you know, so let's say you reach level, maybe 20 was too high, level 5. So let's say once you get into 5, there's a tier of rewards that you can collect for that particular period. You can do any, I mean, you can do a rare crystal, maybe some gleaming meteorites, maybe wisdom, titan meteorites as well. It's just something that you can reach to that threshold, right? And of course, you can get some rewards as you beat each one of the stages. All right, so then, let's say you get to that difficult stage. Now, you do get to at least try it a couple of times. But if you fail three times, so after you click that start button, that's your first attempt. If you even come out of it, you, you, you see the screen defeated, that's one attempt. And after three unsuccessful attempts, boom, you get back knocked down level one and you start all over again you have to do the climb again all right now here's the thing though i i would think it would be tougher if you start changing the levels but at least you now have an idea of what each level is going to be like right and if the game wants to recycle thing maps from the faction trials or anything like that, just with different enemies, they can do that. It's no big deal. The thing is that you're increasing difficulties and now you have boons, you have conditions to met. But here's the thing, as you start climbing up again, the boons that you got from, let's say, to beat level five may not be the same on, e on either side. So you're gonna have to toy around with your composition to meet the conditions of the boons. So let's say in level five, you just dependent on, on the burn to take everybody out. Maybe in the, in, the, in the second round, in the second try, as you climb up again, that is not available to you anymore. So you're going to have to come up with something else. But the thing here is, if you fail three times at one stage, boop, you get knocked down. You have to start all over again. And the leaderboard um, here, as um, I'm going to put myself out, just so you can read this. The leaderboard will show those that are able to progress the furthest on the on the tower mode or the level up more and it'll also show what boons they use composition to get to that stage right the last stage that they were able to beat at least it gives something for people to shoot for right every time that they're playing the game or they're playing the mode and then lastly you could just reset this every month just to make sure that there's something fresh that comes in, um, maybe new stages, or just you reset the leaderboard, just to kind of give it a little bit of freshness again 
to make sure that there's something like the immortal codex you know like it resets and then you come back and you then you try to do it again so but for me it's just that idea right that you are restricted in the manner of what type of heroes that you can bring in or maybe even the boon says you have to you have to bring in four piercers or you have to bring in three nightmare you cannot use piercers for this you cannot use marksmen for this it's just gameplay like that really then allows you to start thinking about the lineup that then you're going to need to beat that particular stage and then maybe use those boons that come in in the in the first stages i was showing here you previously you can come back and then use the boons here to then push forward whatever you need to push based on the restrictions that you were first given right so Th that is kind of the idea that I have in terms of this type of creativity design. Just something to build upon already what the game has offered and just add a little bit more variety to what we, we already have seen them establish. So this is just like a little twist to everything that we've seen so far in Watcher Realms is just that we have a little bit of control in terms of the conditions that are given to us and then what we want to go and face, right? So that is my, my creativity design. What do you think? Would you be up for something like this? Would there be like a spin that you would add to this that I did not think about? Just let me know in the comment section below. And aside from that, I will say, please do hit like and subscribe on your way out. And I will see you all in the next Watcher Runs video.